There could not be a more appropriate day than today to make this video. Shanny Fannies, welcome to Educating Shanny. I'm Shanny and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shanny, hi! First of all, can I just say, it is so weird to be back doing this again. It's so weird to be back doing sit down videos and like topic videos and stuff like that with you again. I got so so used to Vlogmas for like six weeks I did it I think, so this feels really weird to me. So just hang in there. If I, if I suck at this, just don't, it's been a while, I'm a little rusty. <laughs> Let's get into the video, I'm such a dork. So as you can tell from the title of this video, I wanna talk about the phrase fake it to make it for several reasons. Number one, I've been wanting to make a video similar to something along these lines for quite a while now. Number two, you guys hear me say that line all the time, fake it to make it, and a lot of you wanna know what it means, a lot of you wanna know specifically what it means to me in my situation, so I'm gonna share that with you and you can maybe relate it to your own situation. And also, I forget the third read. Oh, I remember. Okay, so I've been seeing a couple, literally a couple, okay, which is why I'm not gonna obsess over this, but it did push me to make this video. A couple of comments of people that were like, um, Shani, how is it that you are doing all of these things that you do in your vlogs if you're so sick physically and so sick mentally and so sick psychotically and all of the things? How can you possibly be going shopping with your nieces and getting your ears pierced and wrapping presents and going to family parties and doing all the things when you have fibromyalgia, interstitial cystitis, irritable bowel syndrome, gastroparesis, bulimia, depression, anxiety, I could go on for hours, and borderline personality disorder. How can you possibly be doing all those things? Cause I'm faking it! Now, I would like to start with my experience with, no, I wouldn't. I would like, this, <laughs> this is a horrible video. I'm terrible at this. I forgot how hard this was. Okay, I would like to start because I've been trying to like think of how to explain to you guys what fake it to make it means to me because I'm not good with words. So I literally just Googled fake it to make it and this is the definition that comes up and then I'm gonna tell you about my personal experience with it and hopefully you can relate and we'll do some other things so okay <gasps> fake it till you make it is an english aphorism which suggests that by imitating confidence competence and an optimistic mindset a person can realize those qualities in their real life how perfect is that thank you i have no i'm not good with words so thank you google mr dictionary google person that helped me thank you i am in my own situation just like you're in your own situation i would like to start really quickly very quickly talk about this i don't want to dig too deep into it however in my childhood i felt very unsafe a lot and i also felt that i had to um portray something different in public um, just so that nobody would know what was wrong and what was going on with me um, and at home and stuff. So my whole life, I, my whole childhood, I spent faking it. I would watch other people around me fake it. I would fake it myself so that I didn't get in trouble if somebody knew that something was wrong, which happened quite a few times. and. Um, I got in trouble for it so like for so for my life like and I don't and I'm not saying that that's right I'm I'm saying that that for me is where it started for me that's why it's like second nature for me to be fake and to be happy when I'm not and to be upbeat when I'm not um, but as I got older and I realized especially I would say in the last two or three years I've started to like use the phrase fake it to make it and like learn what it really means because when i first heard the phrase i was like that's not a good thing we're taught to be ourselves and to not be fake even though i was fake that's you get the point we're taught like why why would people do that why is that considered such a good thing but then 
the more I try to do it, especially here on YouTube. This is where, this is where my situation comes in. So try and relate this to whatever you do in your life and maybe it can help you a little bit, I don't know. But my situation, I make YouTube videos every day and I edit YouTube videos every day. And every single day, I put on a smile for you guys and I try to stay upbeat and I try to stay happy. It's not easy because I'm talking about devastatingly hard things, <laughs> but I try my best because I don't want to bring you down into this like depressed, horrible, sad, scary, scared, gross, sick world that I am living in. Um, I'm going through a lot right now. I'm going through a lot of hard things that are very painful and very difficult and I choose most of the time, you all know I have my faults, but most of the time I choose to make light of it so that it's easier to talk about. Such as pooping, burping, all of the things because those problems are chronic, painful, embarrassing problems that I have issues with. And I would rather make a joke of it and make light of it and laugh about it than to like wallow in this pit of, of P painful poops and burps and and being bloated all the time and never being able to poop on my own and never being able to hold in air normally because I have acid reflux and I have other problems that make me burp and I, I'm just gonna let it out and make fun of it instead there's nothing wrong with that and a lot of you might be like Shani we just want you to be yourself we want you to act how you really feel okay let's try that Let's try, let's let's redo my intro, okay? And let's do it the way that I actually feel today. Uh. Hi. Can I help you with something? No? Okay. Nobody on the internet wants to see that. Now, I'm not stupid. I do realize that there are like 1% of you out there who really hate me and really hate to watch my videos and don't agree with my personality and stuff like that. And that's okay. Like, you don't need to watch me if you don't mesh well with my personality and if you don't like understand my childlike nature and my inappropriateness. That's okay. You don't have to watch me. Just like, I don't need to be something I'm not. When I'm talking about fake it to make it, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about being fake as in being somebody that you're not. I'm talking about being somebody that you are, but you can't in the moment be, but you know you have the potential to be. And the more you do it, the more you practice that over and over and over, just like the definition said, it will become your reality and then you'll start to live it. And that has happened to me, guys. I wish you guys could see how I was and who I was and what I was five years ago. I wish you could see. I was an absolute mess. And I knew that coming on YouTube, and again, try and apply this to your own life. Like, this is just mine, try and apply it to you. Maybe it's your job, maybe it's school, whatever it is that you do, where you have to, gear up and do something that you don't want to do even though you want to do it but it's also something that you kind of have to do and some days you don't feel like doing it even if you want to some days you don't feel like it like whatever that situation is for you try and relate it here for me it's just been so telling to be able to edit my videos every day and hear myself over and over and over say you are beautiful you are worth it and i am too 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 and i am starting to believe it and that's awesome. I never thought that could happen for me ever. So take that, apply it to your life, whatever it is, and just whatever it is in your life, if you know that you're capable of it, which you are, you are capable of doing whatever you want to do. And what I want to do is make YouTube videos that make people happy or that bring people hope or whatever. And a lot of the time my videos don't do that. And a lot of the time they do. And so you just keep trying. You're never gonna be perfect at it. I'm never gonna be perfect at it. But the point is you keep trying. If you don't feel like smiling, smile bigger today. Cause you know that you're capable of smiling bigger. If you don't feel confident, you walk with an extra bounce in your step because you know that at one point in your life, 
you had to have felt that way at least for a second. So live up to that point. Live up to your good points in your life and keep doing it. Keep practicing it over and over and over and eventually it will become your reality. I know this. I'm living proof of this. I'm still living it. I'm still doing it. I'm still in the process of it and I will show you. We will come back to my YouTube channel in one year from today and we'll be like, holy crap, that girl Look how far she's come. How did she do that when she hated herself and she wanted to kill herself and wanted to slice her arms open and when she had depression and anxiety and all of the 10 million different health diagnoses that she's had since she was a little girl? How could she possibly be doing this great? Practice makes perfect. Fake it till you make it. And Fake the it. All right, that's all I have in me today. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope this helps some of you. I hope this helped um, me, and it will help me when I go to edit this, just like all my videos do. So whatever it is that you do in your life, please live up to what it, fake it to what you know is your best, and also try something new that, that maybe you haven't tried before. I've been doing that too lately and it's freaking scary and I hate it and um, I might be talking about that maybe tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is my weekly Wednesday update video. I haven't done that in a long time. I will tell you that um, my Wednesday update videos from now on will include a detail amount of times I've messed up and like more specifically than just oh I did pretty good this week or I did horrible this week or I did really good this week or whatever um, I need I need personally to go back to being more accountable like detailed accountable so if you have anything to add please leave it in the comments please start a good conversation keep it positive keep it um, keep it respectful is what I meant um, just remember that we're all going through different things and all of our highs might be different than you and your low might be my high and my high might be your low and we're all on different levels and we are all trying our best to get through this life and I am living proof that you can't fake it till you make it and I'll continue to prove that to you till the day I die so okay I'll see you guys tomorrow for my weekly Wednesday update video where I'll update you on my eating disorder and other things in my life and that will be great so I'll see you for that you are beautiful you are worth it. Remember that forever and always, and I am too. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.